Democratic Congresswoman Nita Lowy held a town hall meeting on the Republican effort to replace Obamacare at White Plains High School on the afternoon of March 18th. She held one in Rockland earlier in the day. Panelists answered questions and gave presentations. They agreed with the Congressional Budget Office analysis that up to 24 million would lose health care insurance under the plan being pushed by House Speaker Paul Ryan and President Trump. I asked Lowy what she's been hearing from business people in her district. I've had round tables with the business community for many years, and even before the Affordable Care Act, Every business would tell me their insurance was going up 20%, 25% every year. So most businesses understand that the insurance industry was not serving them effectively and their premiums continue to rise. I can't imagine the nightmare that would occur if this monster of a bill passes. But I think Republicans who are sane, who really understand the damages of this Trump care bill would work to immediately make changes. It's impossible to make this work. Larry Levin, president and CEO of Blythdale Children's Hospital, was one of the panelists. It's very difficult to tell what those uh, changes are going to be on the providers, but we do know from the bill that's being discussed now in Congress is that it's going to devastate children and families because Medicaid funding nationally is going to be cut $888 billion, and that will affect all of the kids in New York State that are on Medicaid. And so we're very, very concerned for our families and how that will uh, play out uh, in the health care arena. Beth Finkel, New York Director of the Association of Retired Persons, AARP, also was on the panel. We've got 2.6 million members here in New York State and of course 38 million across the country and we are very opposed to this health care bill. We see it as a special interest bill uh, and we're, we're not happy with it at all. The way the law would change, it would change uh, how you pay your benefits, how much you have to pay, and what you get back for what you pay in. In New York, um, the Medicaid will change so drastically. 3.7 billion will come out of our Medicaid budget, will, which will affect the health care of every New Yorker because it's not just about the people who are on Medicaid, it's about everyone that you interact with, that your children go to school with, and if people are not getting the proper health care, then they're going to be sharing diseases and everything else. So we really cannot allow that to happen. Another participant was Jeffrey Gold. Senior Vice President of the Healthcare Association of New York State, which represents more than 550 not for profit healthcare systems, hospitals, nursing homes, and home care agencies. If it goes down the path that the Republicans are trying to go down, the likelihood is that people will then choose and gamble that they're going to guess right on some lesser form of coverage, and that may or may not have repercussions. Very likely, uh, if that happens, our expectation is that people will delay care where they have to reach deeper into their pocket, that uh, hospitals will be presented with harder uh, cases to be certain of the coverage, and that um, bad debt and the pressure around all of deductibles will go up.